everybody, John here from the Golf Academy at Swan Lake Resort. Uh, no, this isn't me, of course, uh, but this is Jordan Spieth, probably one of the best sand players uh, in the world. And, you know, just about every a lesson that I've seen given about the sand shot, the instructor always says, you know, this is the easiest shot in golf. You don't have to hit the ball. But I know many of you fear this shot and you know maybe in the back of your mind you see that you climb into the bunker and you see that ball just screaming over the green or you see it hit the lip and just kind of mockingly roll back to your feet but there's no reason to fear it as long as you understand it now let's break it down and we'll keep it consistent with the way you hit your shots and your pitches around the green so let's get started. Something to keep in mind, you see guys on, gals on TV working the shots out of the bunker, very elaborate methods. Just remember they have very high demands on their outcome. Every shot is worth lots of dollars to them. So they, they first of all are very experienced in dealing with these different lie angles and how to stop the ball and put spin on it and take spin off of it, how to elevate it. Our goal is simply to get you out and get you putting. So let's use that simple method and make that happen. Let's look at the anatomy of the sand shot. Now let's look into the shot in a little bit more detail. What we want the club to do is skim through the sand, pushing the sand that the ball's sitting on up and out of your bunker. So up and forward. So what's going to hit the sand first is going to be the back edge or the flange or the bounce of the club and only then will you see the sand start to come over the blade we're never going to actually hit the ball and that is true there's going to be a buffer zone right here of sand between the ball and the face and it's going to skim through very shallowly about two inches before and maybe three, four, five inches after, depending on the type of shot. So exposing the bounce or allowing the bounce to hit the sand first is really important. Now let's just illustrate why. Uh, from an energy standpoint, I'm just gonna drag this club through, but I'm gonna use the leading edge or I'm gonna have the face square or slightly closed and you'll see how deep this trough gets and how quickly I accumulate just a ton of sand. And that, that's really deep. So imagine if your ball was uh, up here on that. You can't, you can't really hit that very far. There's so much sand in between it. Now I'm simply gonna open the blade and do that same thing. Just drag the club handle through and you'll see it slides right through right over the top of it, it skims right through, accumulates very little sand, and goes through very easily without a whole lot of energy. And that's why we want to use the bounce of the club. Now let's see how it looks with an actual ball there in a, in a full sand shot. This here is a, with a, a square face, I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna use the leading edge of the club, that's the first thing that's gonna hit the sand and I dig in and I hit an inch or so behind the ball but watch how much sand accumulates or flies away you'll see how deep that is look at all that sand flying forward that's a lot of sand between the club face and the ball not only do I lose control but it, it's hard to do. It takes a lot of work to chunk it out like that. On the left you can see I'll have an open face and I'll skim through the sand 
with the back of the club hitting the sand first and you'll see by comparison how little sand is in my way there compared to the the big chunk on the right. In a nutshell basically there are two methods in which people pitch the ball around the green. They either use their wrists or they use their body. In other words, on the left is the basically putting with loft where I simply swing the triangle back and through and use very little wrist sweeping the ground and the other method maybe what I call the easy flip is where we expose the bounce by cupping our wrist picking the club up and making sure that we get back to the ball before we flip. So we can slightly alter these so that we enter the sand before we hit the ball and make it a good sand shot for you. Again, we want to be consistent with the way you deal with everything around the green. If you're a wristy putter, well, you may are more likely going to be a wristy or a, a flipper, an easy flipper, this motion right here. If you're more an arms, um, stiff-wristed putter, well, you're going to be this type of a pitcher in general, in general. And that's how we want to work it out with your sand shot. Try to be consistent through all the shots around the green. We're looking to alter your pitching method so that it works good out of the sand for you. Remember this is grass. When you go into sand the surface is looser. Easy to lose your footing. Dig in just a little bit. Don't build a fort. Just dig in so that you don't feel that your feet are going to slip. Second thing, in general, the sand is going to give you a little bit more resistance than even if you were hitting out of rough. So the swing needs to be a little bit bigger. And again, this is something that you'll learn from a little bit of trial and error and testing these shots out. The swing is generally going to be bigger. And finally, we're going to move our ball position forward because we want to hit the ground where the ball is currently in a regular pitch shot but we're going to have the ball forward so we're going to catch sand and then we're going to catch the ball. Let me go really slow with that so you can see that. Okay, so let's illustrate. If the ball is where the red arrow is, we would strike the sand where the ball is and then we would catch the ball where the arrow is. So swinging down, striking the, the sand, sliding through and catching the ball. So play that ball forward in your stance. Let's look at the easy flip. It'll be the same method. Again, we're going to strike the ball in this position. With the ball with the red mark, we're going to strike sand and then catch ball. Let's look at a minor setup change and hit some real shots out of the bunker. Okay, for those of you that enjoyed the easy flip and want to make that your way of getting around the greens, let's look at the sand shot for that method. Um, we want to make sure that we're lining up parallel to our target. Make sure our target line, body, match up. We want to make sure that the ball gets off our left foot. We aim the club right at our belt buckle. That's going to give you this type of a lean. Okay. Now we want to use the bounce, which means we have to expose the bounce, which means getting the wrists in this cupped position here and not bowed. So we want to cup it and instead of swinging to the ball before we get the, uh, we, we release the hands, we want to wait until the club 
the hands get to our belt buckle because we want to hit behind it. Let's see this. The easy flip, play the ball forward off the left heel, club pointed at you, set the wrists, cupped, release the hands before you get to the ball. For those of you that like the putting with loft method, there's not a whole lot of wrist involved there. We want to make sure that we're square to our target, our target line and our, tar our body line are parallel. We want to put the ball forward in our stance because we want it to bottom out slightly behind it. Think of this as your chip shot through heavy grass. We're going to get our chest and head slightly forward and back and through. And that's going to give you a, oh, almost. Okay, let's look at that one more time. It's your putting with loft method, which is your putting stroke. Okay. Good, good solid hits. There you have it, folks. A couple of ways that you might use to get yourself out of the bunkers. Make it easy, make it consistent with the way you use your golf club around the greens. Stop by and see us at the Golf Academy.